repartir du Christ, c'est revivre de l'Esprit, c'est renouer l'alliance avec Dieu et être heureux. Oui, repartir de toi, c'est repartir dans l'espérance et porter ton évangile au cœur du monde. Je suis pauvre et petit, mais toi tu m'as choisi, tu es ma force. Seul je mets ma foi Dans mon esprit tu m'as envoyé Sur les chemins du monde entier Tu fais de moi l'instrument de ton amour Repartir du Christ C'est revivre de l'esprit C'est renouer l'alliance avec Dieu Et être heureux Oui, repartir de toi C'est repartir de l'espérance et porter ton évangile au cœur du monde. Start afresh from Christ means a new life in the Spirit, a new covenant with the Lord will be ours. With joyful hearts, To start afresh from you is to start afresh in hope and to carry your good news to the heart of the world. I'm so poor and weak, yet you have chosen me. You are my strength. I put all my trust in you. Your spirit you give to me to go wherever you send me so that through me you may give your love to all. Start afresh from Christ means a new life in the Spirit, a new covenant with the Lord will be ours. With joyful hearts, to start afresh from you is to start afresh in hope and to carry your good news to the heart of the Good day to each one of you. I don't know if I have to say hello or I just say good day, but it's the same. In the gospel of today, Jesus says to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while and you will see me. Jesus was talking about his death and his resurrection. Because this, uh, <clears throat> this phrase he said uh, before his death. But probably he wants to tell us something more. And for the disciples, it was very important to see Jesus and to live with him. And in this time, Jesus is talking about leaving, about going, about his death. And he says, the Holy Spirit will come. I have to go, and the Holy Spirit will come, and your joy will be so great. But it wasn't easy for the apostles to understand that. But Jesus had something to tell us and to tell them. Because when the Holy Spirit comes, he wants to help us to make Jesus present in this world. Make Jesus present. You won't see me anymore, but you will see me. I won't be living with you, but I will be living with you. Because the Holy Spirit will come and will give you everything that I have. Easy? Not easy to understand and not easy to live. But with the Holy Spirit, you have chosen me, Lord, you have chosen me poor, and you have chosen me, and you have promised the Holy Spirit. So, thank you, <coughs> I want to, and I need the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will permit me to look at Jesus. I just want to read you something that I think you will like. 
call the Holy Spirit the gentle companion of my path. He guides me, he stays with me, he leads me. All that Jesus said, I heard it. But with the Holy Spirit, with my gentle companion, I now understand. All that Jesus did, I saw it. But with my gentle companion, I will now do it. All that Jesus suffered, I had compassion for that moment. But with the gentle companion, I will also be able to suffer. All that Jesus offered himself, I did not understand. But with you, gentle companion, I will also offer myself. Jesus glorified his Father and contemplated him. And for me, with the Holy Spirit, I will also glorify him. And how will I glorify the Father? By being Jesus in the middle of my house, in the middle of my brothers and sisters, in the world. The other day, as we were doing the first video in English, and this is very, in this, at this time, it's very hard for me. <clears throat> but I do it a lot of love and I'm very happy to do it. Just pray for me, that's all. But... As I was doing it, usually Lise, who is uh, be behind the camera, she looks at me while I'm uh, talking. And when I started talking in English, she just joined her hands and started praying. Praying, praying, praying. Well, I tell you, at that moment, I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus that had promised to stay with us, to be with us, and to never let us down. And that what she, that's what she was doing. With the Holy Spirit in her heart, I still saw the face of Lise, but I saw Jesus. I can't say more than that. Jesus will be asking us to show his kindness, his patience, his mercy, his goodness his fidelity. Each one of us has something of Jesus that we have to show our brothers and sisters. When I was praying this morning, I said to myself, what do I show of Jesus? I really have to, <clears throat> I really have to be, uh, to make Jesus present to my brothers and sisters today. And a few minutes ago, I was talking on a Skype to someone who wanted to tell me what she was doing. And I was just there listening. And all of a sudden I thought, I have to show her Jesus. So there I changed completely. And there I was. Mm, nice, nice. There I changed. Because I knew I had another responsibility. And we all have by our bar our baptême, we all have this resp responsibility to show Jesus to our brothers and sisters. So let us go now to the chapel and pray and ask Jesus that the coming of the Holy Spirit be something that will change our life today. And the people around us will notice that Jesus is present. Maybe they won't say, Jesus is living in you, but they will notice something that brings happiness, something that brings peace, joy, something different. Because when Jesus is there, everything is different.